If you think about getting yourself the new GoPro 11, then definitely watch this video before doing so because this might be a way better alternative. Got a new drip from Insta360, this is the One RS Twin Edition. In other words, this can be a regular action cam like the GoPro right here, but it can also be a 360 cam. It's a modular system, it's absolutely genius, and in this video I will explain to you why it might be a way better idea to get this instead of this. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's get right to it. Let's start with arguably one of the most important factors, bang for your buck. What will you get for your money? So on one side, we have the GoPro Hero 11, a regular action cam that shoots regular videos. If you want a GoPro that can shoot 360 videos, you will need to get yourself the GoPro Max. Both of them retail for around 550 bucks and that's 1100 USD in total. Now on the other side, we have the Insta360 One RS, twin edition of course. It's a modular system, as I said, absolutely genius if you ask me, but for the same price, as one of the GoPros. So this is worth 1100 bucks in GoPro terms. Think about it, it's a no brainer. By the way, also the One RS 4K edition without the 360 module is just 299. So is GoPro overpriced? Maybe you decide, but Insta360 definitely has a very, very attractive pricing in comparison. So let's move on to the modular system. So first of all, you can of course exchange the lenses. You can use the 4K boost module to get a regular 4K action camera, or you can use the 360 module for 360 footage. And it just takes a minute to do this, by the way, it's no problem to do it on the fly, but the modular system all in all is actually even cooler than that because you can not only swap the lenses, no, you have way more possibilities to build your own camera. Modular systems are amazing and I love the fact that Insta360 is going this direction with the RS. So for example, if you break one of the modules, you can just exchange this one module. This of course is way more environmentally friendly than to exchange a whole camera. It's also way cheaper than buying a new camera. And moreover, this also allows you to upgrade just specific parts. The One RS is also backwards compatible with the R and it's also future proof because you can upgrade to the One RS one inch edition too. So all in all, many, many, many possibilities. When it gets to the actual video taking capabilities, one thing that stands out for the One RS is the active HDR setting that only the RS offers. This is the first action camera with active HDR and that means you will get unparalleled dynamic range, especially compared to the GoPro. Both of these cameras offer great inbuilt stabilization. Insta360 calls it flow state, GoPro calls it hyper smooth. So with the 4K boost module, these two are fairly similar, but where the RS steps it up is of course when you switch to the 360 module. In the 360 mode, you can literally mount the camera everywhere, but you will still always get the shot. Both of these cameras offer a built-in horizontal horizon lock, which means you can rotate the camera and the horizon will stay leveled all the time. But the RS in the 360 mode takes it to the next level by also enabling this horizon lock while tilting the camera. This is something that the GoPro cannot do. So rotation is no problem, but when the camera is not angled the way you need it to be, then you can miss a shot with the GoPro and with the RS you won't have this problem. Another benefit of the 360 module is the invisible selfie stick. This way you don't need to worry about where the stick is, if it is ruining your shot or not, like with the GoPro, and you also get immaculate third person footage of yourself. It is like magic. And as previously mentioned, in the 360 mode, you don't need to worry too much where the camera is actually pointing, you will always get the shot. So you can fully enjoy the moment, no need to focus on the camera angle, no need to focus on the framing of the video, because you can do it in post. Shoot first and reframe later. And you can do this either in the mobile app or with the more elaborate desktop app. 
Before we get to the awesome AI powered editing features, there is yet another thing that I want to mention about the One RS. The One RS can also take stunning high resolution pictures. While the GoPro offers 27 megapixels, the One RS can take 48 megapixel pictures. And there's quite a difference, especially in terms of details. Both of them look great, but thanks to the resolution of the One RS, you can zoom in so much compared to the GoPro. One of the best things about Insta360 is that they offer completely free apps to edit and export your footage. There is no subscription fee whatsoever, it is 100% free. So first of all, there is the Pro Desktop app basically for highest res exports and for social media and such mobile phone quality basically, they also have a separate mobile app. And this app, oh my goodness, it has so many features, effects and tutorials. You can watch the videos of others to see what's possible. And thanks to the advanced AI, it is so easy to implement the effects on your own footage. This is all automatically done in the app and the results are really cool. So as you saw in the background, I was working on the sky swap, just awesome. while the GoPro firmware remains fairly stagnant after release. Insta360 is constantly working on new features and updates for the products. For example, the One R got more than 10 updates and added features in the first 18 months, like new color profiles, horizon leveling, improved camera UI, loop recording, aqua vision, and more. And they of course also keep on improving their apps on a regular basis. Lately, they added the snap wizard feature, which greatly improves 360 exporting in a tap. Lots of shot lab effects like multi view, freeze frame, and more. And as I said, all of this is completely free. Lastly, when we compare GoPro accessories to Insta360 accessories, well, Insta360 all in all just offers way nicer pricing while also providing better tech mostly. This One RS mic adapter is just 20 bucks and is also small, while the GoPro adapter is 50 bucks and quite huge. Moreover, they also offer bleeding edge tech upgrades like a speed reader. GoPro offers none of that. So as you saw, Insta360 is pushing really hard to provide amazing tech with great software at great prices. GoPro on the other hand is this lazy old behemoth of a company. Of course, it's a worldwide known brand. It has a first mover advantage, but it's not what it used to be, at least in my eyes. So yeah, definitely give Insta360 a shot and check out their amazing products because this one is definitely drippy. So yeah, check out the product links in the description. If you're interested, I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.